This is breaking news. Right now, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy is holding a briefing on the leak of the Supreme Court's opinion on Roe v. Wade. Let's go to that now. Uh, listen, this is a little bit calling an audible at the line of scrimmage. So uh, before we get on with the, the reason why we're here, before I begin with that, or we begin with that, I want to briefly address the reports that the U.S. Supreme Court has voted to overturn the longstanding precedents of both Roe v. Wade and Planned Parenthood v. v. Casey and eliminate the federal protection of a woman's reproductive freedom. Quite frankly, and I would say sadly, while enraging, this news is hardly surprising. This is exactly why we took the step that we did earlier this year in enshrining every New Jerseyan's full reproductive rights into state law. When I stood with lawmakers in October 2020 to introduce at that point the Reproductive Freedom Act, it was just six days after Donald Trump selected Amy Coney Barrett to replace Ruth Bader Ginsburg on the Supreme Court. It was as clear then as it is now that this court, stacked with Trump appointees, could not be trusted to protect women's reproductive rights. If the court indeed does take this awful step, this decision will have no impact on New Jersey state law or the full right to reproductive freedom under our state law. This remains fully intact because here in New Jersey, Instead of hoping for the best, we prepared ourselves for the worst. Throughout our administration, I have fought for a single basic principle that this must be a decision made between a woman and her doctor, period. If a right-wing Supreme Court cannot recognize this simple truth, our elected officials in Washington must take matters into their own hands. And I'm Tom, I know Tom Malinowski will do just that. Congress must immediately pass federal legislation protecting the reproductive rights of all Americans everywhere across this nation. If that means reforming the filibuster, then we need to reform the filibuster. We must ensure that every American woman has the freedom that every New Jersey woman has. And if this Congress won't protect reproductive freedom, America needs to elect a Congress in November, including Tom Malinowski, that will. With that, Nick, come on down.